Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and welcome back to Machia Villain. Uh, our mansion is starting to take shape a little bit here. We have some separate rooms for people, we have a kitchen to prepare our wonderful feasts, such as they are. And we've managed to kill off a couple of victims, so it's basically just like one wave of them so far, because they came in pairs in terms of the one we brought in. Lots to do today, we want to expand upon the mansion a little bit. Uh, I'm thinking we might try to add like a dining space over here, so it has easy access from the kitchen. So I'm probably going to, let's might as well set that up right now. Uh, we'll go ahead and throw some walls in here. This could be their dining space. Um, now, we're going to have an issue because we've got more of these wonderful trees here we're going to have to chop down. These evil trees. We've got them all busy working on those. Take a quick peek at the jobs. Uh, we have everyone is set up so they can actually chop wood, so that's good. We also have everyone set up to mine, which maybe isn't the most efficient scenario. Um, but I think we'll be fine based on what other people have at the moment. Uh, we do need to build some other rooms. You can see there's like a room factory, room laboratory, room training. So we have a, a couple different rooms still yet to build to give our our little monsters all the things that they're going to need in order to work. Okay, we need some flooring in here, of course. Uh, oops, wrong one. interface. Go to construction. Uh, rooms. And I think we'll put the, uh, the light wood floors in here. See what those are like. Wait, did I just build another wall? I think I did. Hold on. Cancel job. It was a wall. All right, so we want lightwood floors. We'll grab those and put that in here. Uh, we're going to need an opening, of course, so that they have a way to get into the dining oh, hall. So we'll chomp this out. Food's starting to spoil. No! We need that food. Um, so the food that isn't cooked, so we have, like, meat, blood, and brains here that aren't cooked. Uh, they need to be smoked or cooked in some way so that they can actually preserve. And we're going to need that as well. So I think it's probably going to be pretty important for us to get something they can do research as early as possible. Uh, these do, I think, need a door in order to find them as a separate room, so we'll take care of that. There is a different door here I'd kind of like to put on the front. This one takes evil wood and gold. Lots of gold. That's interesting. Not all the building not all the building pieces actually required. Ooh, flagstones. We could do a, a different floor in the kitchen. I'd kind of like that. Hold on. What does it take to build a flagstone floor, I wonder? them to work on that um, so I originally had built the house a little ways off the road here um, and it's near the mailbox so that we can actually send out the letters to lure in our lure in our victims easier however it would be kind of nice if we could um, if we could kind of spread out a little bit more I'm gonna put a little watchtowers here so I can actually get an eye of what's going on in front of our house if we get these watchtowers built, then when the humans come walking up, we should be able to see them. Hopefully this, the eyes that are on these watchtower things won't scare them away. No, that's really weird. You can see all the little eyes, but not so much the trees. So, but that'll let us at least see the road, so we can see the humans when they're coming along. But I might actually need to expand the house over here, because at the moment right now, this is all basically monster space. Uh, we brought them into the home office to kill them before, but it seems like maybe the better route would be to create sort of a victim's area that we can lure them into and I think we might want to do that down here closer to the road and then reserve all these other rooms back here for the monsters to do their thing um, we do oh let's see we do have I need storage too this this is also gonna be another another issue so maybe I should set these guys up to, to gather more resources here get all these um, we'll again go to uh, the pickaxe we'll chop all this out I think I'll try to build like a little storage room here where we can put other things because we have some food stored in here, but not everything we're gonna need. And in the kitchen, um, we don't have access to the smoker yet. I guess it's something we're gonna have to unlock through research, which we'll need to use the laboratory for, which we also need to build. This location that I picked is not not exactly ideal, all things considered. Uh, it's just a little bit cramped between these sections of rock. I mean, it's nice to have quick access to like stone and metals and things. Well, there's lots of metal over here, and that's pretty cool. But it's not super convenient in terms of anything else. Uh, you know what, maybe I'll put my, my research room down here instead. We'll focus on storage after. Maybe storage can go at this end. It's kind of far away from where they're going to be using everything, though. Uh, where? How big are the storage things? If we go into any room, material storage is what I really want. Now, I could put it, I guess I could put it in its own little separate room that, they just walk right over the storage thing, so I could put like a little room right here that stores it. 
Uh, let's get some... Actually, they're still building the floors in here. When they finish the floors, then maybe what we'll do is we'll close this wall off. Create a little storage space in here where we can put two or three of those material storage pieces. And then we'll need a door to the outside to make it easy for them to bring them in and out also. All right, we have the layout for the dining room finished. I've actually set up some tables and chairs here to be built, so they have that going. Uh, I started the storage room in here, and I think we can set this like type of object to be stored. Well, let's set all, I guess, for now. None. I guess you can pick. Oh yeah, you can pick individual things to go in these. I wasn't sure if you'd be able to, but I guess that makes sense. And then we can also do the same thing for the food up here. Oh, victims are coming! Victims are coming! Oh, okay, we gotta go get to combat mode. Uh, everybody, get into the house. Actually, you go over here. I'm going to stick you outside again. Uh, Blake, we want you over here. I need to figure out how to get weapons for Blake. That's sort of his advantage as a psycho, is that he can he can use weapons. Uh, actually, you three, go hide in the kitchen instead. Go to there. Go hide in here. When the victims come in, we have one of our eyeball towers built here. The second one isn't finished yet, but I'm curious to see how the victims will respond to that. We also have Jai and Zero... Um... Oh, victims are inside. Okay, they're going to spread into the... Well, they're just sort of hanging out there. Are they scared? They're not scared, so that's good. But they're just sort of hanging out. That's not good. Don't run away. There's nothing spooky in there. Just... Okay, let's let's go and attack. Uh, you three go down here. You can attack. Well, actually, we'll go... You can attack him. Uh, you can attack him. And Jai can attack this guy, too. Hopefully they don't fight back, because I've got a couple of injured guys, and I kind of don't want that. The ideal scenario later on will be that we could actually separate out our victims a little bit. No, no, you gotta, you gotta get her. Uh, attack that one. Attack that one. She's got her cell phone out. That's not good. Chikarmi, Jai, Chikarmi. There we go. Chikara, rather. Sorry. Okay. Whoop. Got that one. Uh, now everybody's gotta focus on this dude. I wish they would just go ahead and attack who's ever in the space. Like I, I get that you. Well, I guess there are some some instances where that, that wouldn't be good because you don't want them to kill the virgin right away. You want the virgin to die last kind of thing. But it'd be nice if you could just tell them, attack everybody. But it doesn't really work that way. Let's send them back to their regular jobs. They can get all that cleaned up. Our psycho can get busy cooking in the kitchen again. Although so far he's just doing some storing and things. Let me just double check the jobs to make sure he's still set up for cooking. He is. Nice. He does need a weapon, though, so that's sort of the advantage of the Psycho, is that they have the ability to equip stuff, so, uh, well, actually, skill points, do they have any? No. Job, loyalty. Loyalty's in decent shape. He's well-fed, not enough sleep, so he's gonna need some sleeping. He ate without a table, but we're in the process of building that, that'll help with that. Sleep interrupted, stress nature obviously lowers the loyalty to begin with. No other minion of the same type in your team, so they like to have friends, I guess. Who knew? Psychos like to have friends. Learn something new every day. Your minions are under attack. Uh oh, minions are under attack. Uh, where? I don't see where. There's our Dracula guy, vampire. I don't see why they're under attack. Everybody's. I mean, three of them are inside the house, and there's nothing in there with them. Maybe it means there's like something coming to the house. I, I need these eyeball things all the way around because you have no sight lines outside. I mean, if they're attacking the house here somewhere, it'd be nice if I could tell where it is. It's like type of object store. So I'm not doing any kind of storage. You know what? I don't think I have anybody set up for the storage job right now. Uh, no, we have two of them actually set up for that. Giant's not doing the home office. You know what? We should probably move this the storage over, uh, over to here. Try to get that taken care of. We'll take uh, zero matter off of the uh, off the storage. We don't really need him working on that so much. Maybe in, well, we'll need refill eventually, but it's not something I need just now. Oh, it's an imminent spider attack. That's what it was. Uh, oh, we have a summons. Uh, you got promoted rank two by the League of Villains. Now, I think this has been up here since the beginning, and I wasn't paying attention. League of Villains rewards you with a uh, thousand gold coins. That's nice. Unlocking a slot in your team for a new minion. Ooh, so we have a spot there open now, uh, and we have a summons. For the League of Machiavellian Villains. You killed your first victim. Your contract of evil is ready. We just need your signature with certified human blood ink, and you will be good to go. Oh, all right. Ah, hang in there. It shouldn't take long. <laughs> all right, let's take that. 
Uh, contract with the League of Machiavellians, LLC. This contract is a binding, binding legal agreement made between the villain and the League of Machiavellian Villains, LLC. This agreement sets forth terms and conditions that must be adhered to during the course of evil villainy. <laughs> that sort of, this whole sentence uh, doesn't really seem to, doesn't really seem to go with the whole concept of being evil. Anyway, uh, the League of Machiavellian Villains hereby agrees to award villain Evilium to the above mentioned villain provided said party aids by the terms of the uh, or abides by the terms rather. Uh, the villain must kill all elder victims. Oh, this is the, the list of rules that I already saw. Don't kill the dogs ser ever, seriously. Uh, by signing this contract or looking to all right, let's sign with blood right here. <laughs> Look at play them all with Jason. Safety check. Remember to throw a victim in first. <laughs> Call Freddy <laughs> by axe. Nice. All right. We've been approved, I guess even more so. Giant radioactive spiders are invading your mansion. Destroy them before they destroy your minions. I mean, it said they were attacking, but I don't see them. We can set up traps for people. I wonder if we can set up traps for spiders. You know what? Actually, let's, let's take our little vampire guy. He's hurting. Let's go and we'll grab this. We'll tell him to equip one of these little healing potions. We'll see how much healing we get from one of these potions. Um... Jai takes damage when she fights because she's a skeleton. Um, let's see. Let's see. Extract. Wait a minute. Extract this stone first. No, no. I want. That's weird. I just want to use it. Uh, that got a little bit of healing, but not much. I guess that's why it's a small healing potion. Jai will heal if she can eat some bones. Uh, we do have 33 of them, so it shouldn't be too bad. But they're all sleeping right now. Super productive, but it is daytime, I guess. Oh my gosh, there's the spider. It did get in the house. Uh, okay, you guys, you need to go fight this thing. Attack that. Attack this. Darnell Garcia always looks on the bright side of life. The spider has a name? Is he, has he got my guy webbed? What, what's going on here? Oh, there we go. Karam, get up there and get him. Get that spider. Oop, Jai leveled up. Uh, Jai's fighting skill is leveled up. Okay, that's fine. So I guess we'll go take a look at Jai here. Uh, we look in... I don't know, do they have skills? Fight? Skill points? Four skill points. Throw own bones. Target an enemy, range 150. Oh. I thought she was already throwing bones, but I guess not. Um, we can increase abilities. We can increase max stamina. One point adds five stamina. Okay. What's this based on? Is this based on dexterity, maybe? That's four points to get that. Or we can actually just boost their stuff. So if we boost dexterity... Um, and stamina, maybe. That's cool. Okay, so I didn't realize you could actually like increase their individual stats. That's, that's certainly handy. Uh, let's go check this one out. Uh, well, we have no points for him, unfortunately. Uh, Blake has been doing a lot of work. What about Blake? Blake has... Strength and mind. He's a psychopath, and he's got mind. I, I don't. I don't understand that at all. Uh, Jakarum. No. All right. So it looks like looks like Jai was the only one doing any leveling. She must be doing a good job of like hurting stuff. All right. Looks like Zero Matter is not a happy camper. His face is all red. Uh, loyalty is at like twelve. What's his deal? Very hungry. Minus forty. My goodness. Uh, has been a little, little wounded for a while. So, I mean, we can help with the wounding, potentially, if there's another healing potion. I don't, I don't know if there is. We just have gold down here on the road. Which, incidentally, we need to store. I probably should have made the storeroom bigger. Uh, we also have gold laying like, everywhere. These guys are not very secure in terms of, like, where they're keeping their stuff. Um, we're going to need to break some more stuff here. I'm going to try and expand on the storeroom because I, I clearly didn't make it big enough. Uh, over here, we're going to need a room. Now, the trouble is, we're not getting blood... At least it doesn't seem like we are when we kill off victims. So that's certainly an opportunity. Uh, let's put in some flooring. What do I need? Stone bricks for the... Oh, you know what? I told them to build that all up here, and it's not going to happen because it needs stone bricks, and I can't even make stone bricks yet. Exit door. Store will be used by a victim when they're scared. Ooh, if you could know which way they were going, you could set up some nice traps and stuff to, like, spook them, and when they run, if they get away, they run into a trap instead. Let's put a uh, dark wooden floor in here. Let's try this out. Uh, we're going to break an opening here because we need a space into this laboratory. Uh, 
that. Uh, and then, of course, we'll need floor again. Uh, hold on. Dark floor there. We need a door. All right, so this will be our laboratory space. Uh, in here, if we go to construction, uh, laboratory, advanced research bench. We're going to need steel plates, stone bricks, cogs, none of which I could make. So we're going to be starting off first with fundamental research bench. Now, we need a lot of metal for this, and I don't really have any. I only have like 10. And we really need this research bench because we just don't seem to be getting the blood supply we need. I'm hoping a vendor will come along and we can uh, take a swing at the health pack during a fight. Can I assign... There's a health potion here somewhere. I can see it up here. I just I just don't know where it is. How do I get... How do I get zero matter to... No, that's actually pointing at the map. I kind of want zero matter to go pick that thing up and get... Oh, there it is. Found it. It was hidden under the gold. All right, Zero Matter, go grab this and equip it. We'll get you a little bit of healing. Hopefully that'll help a little bit with your mood, but you're super hungry, so I kind of need emergency food. Click for more. Your minions are hungry, and the head office has dispatched a special delivery to tie them over, but it's your responsibility to manage your minions so that they provide for themselves. Build at least one home office. Under attack. Spider attack again. Assign a minion to write letters that will attract us. Well, I'm attracting victims, but it's the blood I really need, and I'm not really getting it. It's kind of weird. All right, but we do need to set up construction for the laboratory so we can do some research. Um, we'll put that on this wall over here. This is where we're going to expand the storeroom, so we'll have a little bit, little bit bigger space that way. And I probably should, maybe I should put an exterior door. I'd like to have like a hidden door though, if it's going to be facing outside. Oh, he got on fire! Whoa, dude, that is some serious sunburn. Uh, info. He's on fire, but he's fireproof. I guess, I don't know, I guess maybe he just got shocked enough. No, oh, there's the limo with the food, so that's good. If we can get some blood, that would be fantastic. Hurry up and hook me up with some blood, man. I'd like to know how the spiders got in the house last time. There's a spider. Uh, alright. We need, uh, can I shift-click all these guys? No. I can control-click them, though. Okay, good. Uh, go here and attack this guy. Uh, we probably go into combat mode. Uh, is this is this car gonna stop? I mean, don't don't drive away. Oh, they just dropped it on the road. All right. <laughs> a little sloppy, but whatever. Um, okay, this is gonna be outside of the area we're gonna sweep because it's outside the house. So we should actually set this up to clean up blood out here, uh, just in case we make blood on the road. I, I don't think it. I guess maybe it doesn't count for the spiders. Oh, he's on fire again. You no, you go inside. You seriously, like you're. You can't hang out in the sunshine, man. You're a vampire. What is wrong with you? Oh, you know what? He needs the food. All right. So go eat. I guess that's probably probably a primary issue. And they're going to deliver the rest of the storage, which is fine. Uh, we should get some more victims in because we're, we're definitely going to need more parts. Uh, so let's make ten more of these letters. Get another three victims in. I really hope they get blood, because it doesn't seem like I'm getting blood off them. Um, cancel jobs in here, because we, we don't need to worry about the building. Can't make it right now anyway. Oh, he's hanging out on these really this really shoddy furniture to eat his meal, so that's good. Uh, how do I get a new victim in here? Or a new minion, rather. Maybe something I need to build to get one. So when we have the, when we had the first thing added on, it just sort of gave us access to having another minion, but it doesn't seem to work that way all the time. Alright, Blank has some skill points too. I just noticed that it actually has like a little flashing marker on here. I wasn't sure whether that was like his skill increasing or what, but he's actually got some points. So he can actually do <laughs> an ear bite. Physically hit 10 damage, minus 20% chance of bleeding, 1 damage per second. Or sorry, no, it's just 20% chance of bleeding. Steal a weapon. Ooh, that's what we need. Effects on target. 30% uh, chance of remove an, an equipment of type weapon from your target. I mean, he could use a weapon, so let's see if we can steal one. I mean, why not, right? I don't know how to get them otherwise. We have to. Well, there might be some way that we can actually make weapons for ourselves, but for now, that'll have to do. Oh, what do we got going on? Sharp Canines Bar. Our new hipster vampire clientele likes their blood locally brewed. We'll give you a good price if you can provide us some good quality products quickly. Sell vampire blood goods to the bartender. They need 13 smoked blood. Well, we don't have any blood, so we're definitely not doing any of this. If anything, I should be buying some. 
It'd be nice if we get the bartender to come out and serve us a little bit of blood. All right, we built some more letters. Do I not have an ad campaign selected? Maybe I didn't. Uh, let's make sure this one's selected. Uh, we have six of ten letters written. What is the issue here? Why isn't Jai not, not enough resources? What do we need to produce the letters? Wood. We're all out of wood. Really? We've got through that much? Man, I, I've, I've chopped up a lot of wood. Uh, we, need a, we need some other way to get get victims here than spending wood. That's not really ideal. Uh, let's grab chop wood. I'll grab all this. Might as well chop these down too. Just clear everything out. It's going to need to be cleared out anyway. I can really see a scenario where you run out of resources in this game. The floor is not finished in our laboratory yet, and neither is the door. Actually, I don't, even, I don't think I have even have a door queued up there. I probably should. Uh, rooms, doors. Let's... Oh, no, there is a door started there. Okay. Uh, but more importantly, we have our research ready. So, fundamental research points. Used to unlock research. Uh, so, if we click on this... Hold on, let's pause this a second. Used to unlock research items that require fundamental research. All right, that's, I guess this is where we build up the points for it, and then in the research is where we actually do the research itself. Okay, so, Demonic Axe used to unlock... What's the deal with this? Let's you cut evil trees without getting hurt. Oh, that's kind of handy. Use attritional smokehouse to preserve the food. Okay, that I think is definitely going to be the one we're going to research first. Victims and villains rules. Advanced victim furniture. It looks like an arcade unit. A printing press. Uh, to send publications to lure victims inside your mansion, and a computer to evil... Okay, so I guess the computer's the second level of that. With decorations, floor and wall... Oh, we can put skull print. Isn't that sweet? A skeleton turret? What? Stylish skeleton turret. Uh, you can choose your target type with its high-end face recognition system. <laughs> Alright, so we could like, set those things up and have them kill spiders for us. That could actually be handy. All right, well, let's go ahead and we'll just we'll go with the food preserver right now because that's kind of the thing we really need. Uh, oh, yeah, we need we need to set up this thing to actually produce some research points for us. Uh, we need ten, so we'll go ahead and grab ten of these, I guess. You know, you know what? Yeah, let's go ahead. I was going to say, we could, we could produce it indefinitely, but we actually need... We need um, Zero Matter to actually do the digging for us. I think he's the one that's the miner. Yeah, he's the best miner of the bunch. And also, also the best one for research. So I don't know. Uh, let's let's bump research up in the, in the chain of stuff. Uh, with the, put that way, way up front, so we can make sure he's focused on that. He's really not very happy. Loyalty level of fourteen. He, he's, at least he's not breaking things, but it's not going to be long before they do. So we need to go. What is this? He's from behind. That looks like some kind of a lobster walking around. That's weird. All right, the letters are written. They've been plopped in the mail, so we should get some victims coming in a little while. Uh, research is still in progress. Turn on our food smoker, which will be really handy because once we once we get that food smoker going, we can start to preserve, preserve stuff. And we have smoked brains, smoked meat, and some bones that are all staying preserved for now. But the blood is the one that's really important right now because we're really not getting any, and our poor vampire is just starving. Uh, ooh, they're idle. You guys can't be idle. Uh, let's go ahead and tell you to build something. Uh, we need to expand upon our storeroom anyway, so we might as well expand it down this way. Um, these walls can all go. And then we'll put some floor in here, and we'll make this our one big one big storage room, I guess. Ooh, actually, can we do a, a, a hidden door? What's it cost to make a hidden door? Oh my gosh, that takes a lot of stuff. Alright, steel plate, cogs, planks of wood, plank of evil wood, stone bricks, none of which we can really do. We just have all basic materials until we get to the point where we actually can build special things. Your minion, your minion is minion vandalizing is your mansion. Wait, what? No! Ugh, he just hit the table, I guess. That was weird. And then he's back to do some more research. Alright, whatever. You go do your research thing. Oh, he actually spends money on the research. That's interesting. Uh, let's give him a light in there, too. I think actually giving them, like, lit areas makes them happier. I think. I'm not 100% sure on that, but... They are monsters. Could be they like dark corners. But we'll put a light there. Oh, what do we got here? Undertaker. Hey, I have slightly rotten cadavers to sell. I'm sure that with some clever cutting, you can still get a decent quantity of food out of them. And they're an unbeatably cheap price. <laughs> unbeatably cheap for a limited time only. 
by five slightly rotten cadavers, by ten slightly rotten cadavers. Well, I don't know if we can get blood out of these, but we'll try. Let's get ten of them, and hopefully we can scrounge enough blood out of these to do something useful. Um, I expect they, we'll get the delivery along the roadway the same as we did. This guy's just raging. It's something you just don't want in your mansion. You don't want a raging vampire. That's. I feel like that would be bad. Jai's idle. Jai's not happy either. What's Jai's deal? Uh, let's see. Has been severely wounded for too long. Well, Jai, you, you heal by eating bones. Falafel aficionado. I didn't even notice that. Um, I don't know what to do to heal you. You need bones. Go eat the bones. Um, maybe I can tell her to eat the bones. Will that work? Jai, eat this. What's she got health-wise right now? It's really hard to tell. Uh, life is there. <laughs> I can see on the bar that she's got... So, oh, there we go. 199. Let's see what happens when she eats the bones. Come on, Jai. Chow down. 200. Oh my gosh, that's going to take a lot of bones to heal. But that, mind you, that one little bit of bone was actually enough to help. That's oddly enough. Zero matter. He's gotta be. Oh yeah, he's he's just a raging, very hungry. We, you know what? I think if the loyalty gets right like right down to nothing, they'll leave. So I need to I need to get this I need to get this guy fed. Oh, the delivery came by. Um, that's a lot of body parts. Um, I'm I'm guessing there's not gonna be any blood there because it's just body parts. All right, Blake, you gotta get you gotta busy. Oh, you know what? It just occurs to me. Um. I was luring in victims, and we've got body parts all over the road. That's really bad timing. Please go clean those up as a matter of priority, guys. Okay? Let's, uh, let me jobs. Let's get a couple people on storage. Jakarum can't do it right now. Let's take him off of this and put him on storage. Try to get that taken care of quickly if we can. Please, oh, please. Can I... I can't, uh... Oh, wow, oh, they picked pick those up pretty quick. There's just one that had left on the road. Are we gonna your get minion any... is vandalizing your mansion. No, leave it alone. I need this guy for research. He can't leave. We've got to get blood for him. But it looks like these slightly rotten bodies the aren't, are coming. aren't exactly producing any blood. Uh, I feel like that's a problem. Does this guy have maybe like a, a, an attack that will let him drink blood? Hypnotize. No. Bat transmutation. And then just power upgrades for the two. So he doesn't really have like a drink blood from your victim kind of thing. That's no good. All right, victims are coming. Uh, you know what? You guys need to go into combat mode. The three of you can hang out here. You go out here again. Oh, that was really bad timing. Okay, go get him outside. Drat. Okay, her first. Oh, wait, is she the victim? Wait. Uh, Alethea, Alethea Person. One search Google for the term search Google. Uh, okay, so, I mean, she might be a virgin, thinking. When the victim's scared, they'll freeze in terror. How about this one? They'll freeze in terror. Famous freestyle rapper, but only at their local church. And one search Google for the... Oh, that's the same kind of thing. That one's a baby. I feel like the baby's probably... I don't know. So you were supposed to like, kill the virgin last, but... It's hard to tell what's what in here. Splat, splat, splat. Splat, splat. Oh, no, they're, they're like... Ah, ah. They're making phone calls and stuff and posting... Posting social media. Don't, don't, don't post social media. All right, well, we made a horrible mess on the ground, and after all that, we still got no blood. What is the deal with the blood? Area, clean all this up. This is all gotta be, all gotta be cleaned. Go back to your normal jobs. I mean, he even attacked people that didn't get blood. I don't understand. Oh, he did get skill points, though. All right, hypnotize. Hypnotize, control your enemy during 80 seconds. Oh, that's a fair amount of time. Requires a strong mind. The power only works if your mind is stronger than two times the mind of the target. All right, so we have to boost his mind up because he's got like zero. So he's got two times, two times zero is zero. It can't really affect anything. Victims can't see you during 20 seconds. Multiply dexterity by four. Ooh, that could actually be really handy. Um, but I think instead we're gonna, oh, wait a minute. Oh, I clicked on it, so I, I already bought it. Well, guess what? We can do bat transmutation now. <laughs> oh wait, can we cancel? Ooh, we can. Okay, good. Um, bat transmutation does look really, really cool, and I want that. 
But I think first and foremost, let's boost up his mind level. So we can get to the hypnotizing and actually do something useful with that. Um, I have victim's body parts here, but how do I get blood out of these things? Likes. Turning into a bat dislikes garlic, holy water, humans who constantly ask for a date. <laughs> your minion is vandalizing your mansion. No, stop vandalizing. You've got blood. We found blood. I guess we got some when we chopped up the bodies. But we don't really get a ton of it. It's weird. Okay, he's actually getting a little bit happier now that he's eaten. That kind of makes a really big difference. Uh, he's been severely wounded, though, and we need to heal him, and I'm not sure how to go about doing that. What is this? Oh, fundamental research points. Okay, cool. We can see that up there. I didn't realize I could. So we're at 8 of 10 in order to research uh, the smoker, which will let us preserve our foods a little bit. All right, our research is finished. I decided to build two gold chests in the research room because it seems like he actually needs gold for the research. So let's uh, let's go ahead and queue up another 10 on here. Uh, let's make it 20. So we'll make that. Uh, what's our research? Okay, so we have the smoker finished. Now we can actually do ooh, refrigerator. To keep all the nutrient value of the fridge, of the food stored in a fridge. Ooh, and a stove. With the stove, your, your minions can cook good meals, including delicious meatballs. As the saying goes, everything is good in a victim. <laughs> uh, that's a saying? All right, whatever. Uh, let's get the demonic axe. Ooh, we actually need advanced research for that stuff. Uh, we'll get the demonic axe because I see here there is the broom of doom. Let's you collect the blood you cleaned, which and it only it doesn't require the advanced research, so that's good. So we'll get we'll go after the demonic axe next. Um, yeah, I mean, you know what? Actually, I should probably just set this on. Let's cancel this. Instead, we'll just do produce indefinitely. We'll get some steady research points going because we're going to need it anyway. Uh, and they're busy doing more storage expansion over here. Uh, I think we're going to need more room for raw materials because. This is pretty full. I mean, how full? How much does this hold exactly? Is there a limit? Do I, did I really even need to? I guess I needed to because of the types of things we're storing, maybe. But they're making separate piles of the wood in here. I need light in there, too. Put a little candelabra up here and one down here. Although, why monsters need light exactly? I don't know. In the eddy room again, so we have gold storage. Only stores gold and valuables. Basic protection against thieves. All right, so I need steel plates for those, and I can't actually make them. Well, that sucks. It's funny it lets me put put it down, even though I don't have the materials. In some ways, that could be handy because it'd be nice to like plan ahead, and then when you have the materials, they'll just make it. But on the flip side, you don't always spot the stuff that you can't make. Uh, equipment storage, materials. All right, let's put a gold storage in here. That's really big. We'll put it in there because that'll come in handy. Uh, and in here, I guess we'll put. I don't know, some equipment storage, maybe? Oh, look, a goldfish! Prestige plus 137. Evilness plus 100 inside of range of 50. Skullhead candles, evilness plus 75. I really don't know what the deal is with the evilness rating. I gotta figure out what that is. I think maybe it has something to do with their, like, how happy they are. Oh! Average evilness seen in my environment over the course of a day. Uh, less than 10. The rooms I walk through do not look evil enough. Greater than 200, they look a little evil. Greater than 500, the, the environment I walk through looks really evil. Okay, so evilness being good, we should probably, well, you know, quote unquote good, we should probably try to boost the evilness we can get in the space where they're sleeping, maybe. We'll put lights in here. And then we can also put in. That doesn't add any, ev any evilness. Bat in a cage, we can't do that. Ooh, it takes 30 bones for every one of these. I was going to do Skullhead Candles, but that's not happening. Ooh, what's going on? Geek in a Unicorn Convention. Geeks gather from everywhere with perfectly full pockets. Don't be fooled by their cosplay. They're not, <laughs> they are not minion. They will loot plus 200 gold coins more than usual during 48 hours. Ooh, if we kill off some geeks, we can get extra gold. All right, uh, let's check our ad campaign. How do we get a geek? Ooh, there's one geek. Cozy house rent, quiet, safe neighborhood. We can get three basic victims and a geek. Get some extra gold out of them, which would be nice. What is this? Circuit board. Ooh, you can get circuit boards from them? What's going on here? Your group of victims could include, could include one or several virgins. Oh, that's interesting. 
All right, well, let's go after the one geek because I don't really see that we can get too many others. We won't have enough time to produce enough letters to get anything more. Even the 20 for this will be challenging. Let's set that as our end campaign. Uh, hopefully we have enough wood for this. Produce 20 letters and see what we can do to lure in some geeks. Okay, we did unlock this smoker with the research, so we should probably should set one of these up. It's going to take 100 metal. I do have enough for that at the moment. Uh, so let's go ahead and... Oh, there's the footprint thing. Okay, so we can put that like right between the storage spots, maybe. So they can prep the stuff, they, they'll cook it, and then it'll be right next to the storage where they can actually place it. Which should work out okay, I guess. Um, this kitchen will obviously need to be changed around a little bit as things get bigger. It'd be nice to swap these out for fridges and things, just so it looks cooler. But, a lot of research to go before we can do that. Okay, we finished another research, so we have the Demonic Axe. Let's get the Broom of Doom researched. And then there's also Demon Pickaxe. Uh, dig through the rock 30% faster. Oh, that's handy. It only takes five research points for that. That's crazy. Merchant on the road! What happened? Geek and Unicorn Convention. Click for more. Geeks gather from everywhere. Oh, wait. We're going to have the 12 hours, 59 minutes. We're not even going to get enough time to get all the mail out, I don't think. Merchant on the road. Click for more. Okay, where's the merchant on the road? Hopefully they're bringing food, because we could really do with buying some more blood. What have we got? Show me that merchant. Nope. Wow, what is this? That is a crazy looking merchant right there. Are they buying? Selling? What do they have, I wonder? Anybody? Ooh, they're selling stuff. Alright, so what is this? Is it metal or metal plate? Oh, that's just metal. Circuit boards. Tome of the Golden Jackal. It's a Papa picture book, but you know, an evil Papa picture book. <laughs> Mind plus 10%. Oh, that's handy. Wow, that's actually really good. Well, I mean, in the sense that you can actually boost the minion stats with it. Batting helmet. Baseball players use it to protect their skulls. Also works against other types of impact. Oh, okay. Wooden torch. In service to mankind since the late Pleistocene, not suitable for Olympic ceremonies. Uh, physical hit, 2 damage. 40% chance of fire, 2 damage per second for 30 seconds. You can link them on the fire. A ride police helmet. Immune against transform, plus 30%. Okay, so you can actually equip them with equipment and stuff. That's kind of cool. 400 of all this stuff. Um, but we haven't, well, we, we used a lot of metal, but there's still a lot we can actually mine up there. So I'm not in a hurry to spend my gold on that. However... These helmets could come in handy for protecting our minions. Shield 70, shield 100. That's neat. All right. Let's get, uh, let's buy one of these. We'll buy one of these. Uh, the torch, I'm not super thrilled with. The damage doesn't seem that good, so we'll get both of those at least. Okay, another question is, who do we want to equip them with? Uh, I think we want Blake to have a helmet. Uh, let's equip, you can equip this one. Uh, I'd kind of like to have him a, give him a weapon. That'd be really good. And then I think maybe we'll put uh, Jakar on with this one. A little wounded. Uh, I wish they had heal potions in there. That would have been handy. My poor little minions are hurt. I don't know how to heal them. Your one minion your is minions. vandalizing your mansion. No! Zero Matter is angry again because we don't have blood again. That's not good. Uh, and it looks like we missed the Geek and Unicorn convention, which sort of sucks. Drat. Missing on an ad campaign for nothing. Oh, look at the little police hat on him. Blake rocking the little police hat. Ten of five. Uh, all right. We can, oh, we can, done. Wow, really? No! Oh, I, you know, no, I wasn't done. I thought I had the Broom of Doom, but now I don't. I need the blood! 20 research we need for that. Yeah, thanks. I just wasted some. We have a demon pickaxe, though, so we can mine up metal faster. I suppose that's all right. Oh, no! Oh. Zero Matter got too upset, and he left. We've only got three minions left, and I have no idea how to replenish these things. How do I do this exactly? Crypt level one. With enough Evilium, you can revive dead minions. You must follow through the horror movie rules to earn some. Uh, all right, so we have 160 Evilium. Increase crypt level, team slot. Unlock a new slot. We can actually spend Evilium on that. Job offers. Okay, here we go. Wait a minute. 
Job ad magazine. Select like the magazine where you will publish your job offer. The fancier the magazine is, the more qualified. We need more Avelium so we can hire another minion back. Select the minion type asked by the ad. We can get a psycho, skeleton, mummy, or zombie. Or random. Ad size. That's so funny. We actually have to publish ads to get minions. But we don't have enough Avelium yet. We need a little bit more. And to earn that, we're going to have to kill some more... Some more victims. Um, we're at 160 now. We need 200. Reanimator. I'm working on some new experiments and I need material. I pay a fair price for test subjects. I prefer them dead if possible. Sell test subjects to the reanimator. Three victims had three victim bodies. 400 gold coins. You know what? We don't have any bodies just laying around. We've kind of turned them all into food. So I'm going to say not interested for now. Give him a sample to convince him good. We got three brains back in two days when you have all the goods. That's neat. So you can actually, like, stall them a little bit until you can lure in the victims to get what you need. But we don't, we don't really have an opportunity for that just now. Victims are coming soon. We have four victims coming. I thought we were only going to get three. Um, that's more victims than I actually have minions. That's a problem. Hopefully it doesn't prove to be too much of a problem. Are coming. Victims are coming. Okay, these guys need to get up. Okay, so Blake, you go in here. Uh, Jakarum, you can go in here. Jai, let's have you go in here. Uh, we'll set you on combat mode. So I kind of want. I want them to come in and get into this main hallway, hopefully. There they are. There's the four of them. Okay, what do we got going on here? So we have Florence Whitcomb. Lorenzo Ruiz, part-time lover, full-time extreme couponer. Oh, nice. Another extreme couponer. And there's our geek. Isaiah McDonald, once arrested for trying to break into several closed amusement parks. Isaiah. Food produced, 10 blood. All right, so they do actually get blood off of these. Okay, let's, um, well, not that I need it anymore. Now that I've, I've almost got that broom of doom, finally. My vampire's gone. All right, let's see if they wander into a different space here. I wonder if they'll just walk out of the house altogether. I mean, they're not scared, so suspicion level shouldn't go up. But they're not leaving the room, either. Wait a minute. Wait, are they scared? Where's the light? There's no light in that room. Ah, oh, the vampire! When he was freaking out, he must have broke the light that was in there. Zero matter. Okay, now they're scared. Why are they scared? Room too small. They're in a long hallway. All right, whatever. Um, you know what? You go attack here. You go attack here. You go attack here. Get him. All right, we got him. Our suspicion level kind of climbed up a little bit, which isn't great. Uh, but Jakarum also got some combat skills. Let's go in here. Check out his skill points. Uh, let's see. Targeted enemy. Melee attack. Immobilize during six seconds. Or curse. Target an enemy. Second range 100. Curse your target. Multiply damage caused by physical hits by 20% during 20 seconds. Um, all right. You know what? Let's just worry about like base stuff for them right now. Let's boost up the strength a little bit. A little bit of dexterity too can't hurt. I mean, I don't know what the dexterity does in the game, but it's got to be there for a reason, I figure. All right. So we finally finished our smokers. Now we can actually produce smoked foods. Um, I have no idea how to do that exactly. I wonder if they'll just do it automatically. Oh, there we go. Oh, cool. Okay, so um, let's smoke the blood first because it seems to go the fastest. We don't really need it at the moment, however. Having it handy would be good. Uh, can I actually queue up a couple different things here? I guess we can. Let's uh, let's smoke some brains next. Make that, and then yeah, all right, just queue it all up. All right. So we've got all that set up, so uh, our fancy chef, Blake, will go in there and take care of smoking all that up. So we'll actually have it preserved. Uh, we're still working on the research points, but I had to, we lost our best researcher, so I have Jakarum working on it now. All right, we have 240 uh, Evilium, so let's get an ad out there and try and replace that minion we lost. Um, that's in the crypt. Crypt level one, okay. Well, we can go to crypt level two. I don't want to spend that, though. I need, I need, to, I need to get the job offer out there, so we have 200 available. Um, so obviously we're going to go with this job. Um, I think we should probably bring in another Psycho, because I can't get another Vampire yet, as much as I would like one. So we'll hire for a psycho. That'll make Blake feel better because he likes having other psychos around. I, I I don't know. First the job offer two sixty. What? 
Oh, it's plus 30% if we actually choose our minion type. So we need to leave it at zero. Plus 20% if we make the ad bigger, which I guess will... 40%. All right. We're going to use it all. Size does matter. The bigger the ad, the more applicants you get. So we want... Oh, I see. We, this would get us two applicants, three, and then four. So we get stuff to pick from. So... All right. I guess we'll, uh, we'll publish the job offer. Waiting applicants 24 hours. Okay. So hopefully that will, that will net us... Something decent. Um, and maybe since it's random, we might still be able to get a vampire back. It'd be nice, you know, because we're we've got all that blood we're finally starting to collect, and uh, we don't have anyone to eat it. Research done. Research complete. All right, we got the broom of doom, which means we're gonna collect a whole bunch of blood off the floor now. Uh, yeah, again, as delicious as that sounds, I'm sure it's got some good stuff. Decorations, evilness, and prestige. What's this do? All kinds of floor. All kind of floor or wall to make your mansion look evil and resistant to unexpected fires. Oh, iron walls, really? Brick walls, concrete walls, nice carpet. Oh, that's nice. Hexagonal tiles, more nice carpet. You know what? Actually, this is probably a good thing to research. All right, we've waited 24 hours. We have our three applicants for the, the job position we posted for. Three applicants waiting. Okay, let's review those, please. Uh, how do I review them? Oh, it's down here. Oh, look at that. Job offers. Three applicants waiting for your review. Oh, look at the wonderful stick pictures. Pick a minion. All right, so we have Irma Porter. Power walk. Relax nature. So they move fast. Uh, that's pretty good. Scott is a pyromaniac. Resistant to fire. Stress nature. Well, I mean, he has a psycho. Ooh, but he does have really good research, and I feel like we probably are going to want that. Plus, it's another psycho for Blake and some, some help in the kitchen. So, you know, that's probably a good thing, maybe, right? So, we'll go ahead and we'll hire Scott, but we're going to need to rename him, of course. All right, we're going to rename this one to The Great Punami, which somehow seems really appropriate for a psychopath. Sorry, Punami. <laughs> Ooh, I can, wait. I can join, I can hire more than one minion? Sweet! Um, all right, off-the-road feet, easygoing nature, loyalty plus five, and they move around quick. Power walk and relax danger. Wow, loyalty is better on floor. Floor purdy. Uh, okay, so what have they got? Ooh, what is this? Make objects and furniture. That could come in handy. We already got somebody who does cleaning and stuff, so I'm not really worried about that. Later, let's hire this one. Uh, so we're gonna rename this one as well. This will be. This could be Taz. Welcome, Taz. All right, hire him. We can validate our selection. We've got two new guys in, so that'll give us a total of five, which is great. That gives us more people, well, more monsters to work on the jobs. So we can kind of get stuff done maybe a little bit quicker now. That would be good. And that boost of research is going to be really handy. All right, we're going to call it for today. We'll come back and we'll do some more of uh, Machiavellian another time. Continue to grow our house, lure in some more victims. I'm going to work next time maybe on a place that our victims can wander into, and we'll try to keep them happy and entertained pending their imminent death <laughs> so maybe we'll try to lure them in down here and use this as that space uh, i'm gonna need to dig up all this stone of course so that's gonna take a while uh while i'm thinking about it i probably should mark all this stuff to be dug out because that'll give us lots of resources uh and then also lots of space we can work with that's close to the road and uh, we can kind of lure them in that way but uh, thanks everyone for coming to check out the video uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already go ahead and click on that subscribe button i'm as always cryptic fox i'll see all of you next time